learning Perigal Valochiyud. Olamato Shemutle Ochomets Bioim Aboroso. Go down to the Pirish here. We're going to discuss the fifth hour of the fourteenth day of Nisan. So when can you eat? And be nana from Chomets. And if you get Malkis when you eat your nana, in Kochim Shal Shal Chomets, and Trumas Chomets in the fifth hour. So the Ramam says, Olamato Shemutalecho Chomets Vim Aboroso. Atsuib Shorovis. We learn that one is permitted to eat chometz on the 14th till the end of the fourth hour, when the day is divided up into 12 hours. And if we start at 6 o'clock, that would mean from 6 to 7 with one hour, 7 to 8, 9 to 10, 10 to 11. So you have four hours. 6 to 7, 7 to 8, 9 to 10, 10 to 11. But one cannot eat in the four, fifth hour. But you have a, you can be nana on it. Well, you can have anoa during the fifth hour. The one who eats in the sixth hour is you give him Marcus Malvis. Meaning the Midrabonan Marcus. As we write in the Shabbos, and there the Magad Mishnah says, and somebody's oyer bezodeng, and something that a chomet forbade, that has a source of the Torah, gets malchus malchus. And v'oichel, somebody eats from the beginning of the seventh hour is loike according to the Rambam, as we learned in the previous shura. Now, what's the fifth hour? Lecha Mishnah asks why in the fifth hour he doesn't get malchus malchus. But Rabban, it's also to eat chomet then. Furthermore, he writes, if he eats in the sixth hour. In the sixth hour, it's also gamba. No, you're not allowed to benefit from it either. And he answers that since in the fifth hour the chometz is muta ba'ano, the arm holds that you don't get malchus for it. When he writes for oichel, he doesn't write he who benefits. It could be that even on ano, you would get malchus. And he wrote out oichel because in the in the continuation. Regarding the fifth hour, he, the seventh hour, he writes Oichel. And there you get Malkis Manatoya. According to the Rambam, only someone who eats gets Malkis because he's over on the Yisrael, the Yisrael of Chomets. But not on Yisrael, no. But in the sixth hour, the one who's Nene would be over just like he would be eating on Yisrael Abona. Shishan Zahamokim asks a question How does the Rada Hamishna? Right, and in the fifth hour, since it's mutaba no, he doesn't get malchus even if he ate it. Eating is a way of benefiting. When you eat uh, meat and the uh, chicken meat with milk, which according to many is the rabbonon, you get a malchus even though he's not. It's not osaba no, because it's only the rabbonon. And the answers from what it says. That they didn't, uh, they did not forbade from the fifth hour to benefit from chometz. Me, me, it tells us that it is a, a lesser magnitude of forbiddenness, and therefore you don't get malchus. It's, it's considered a lesser magnitude because every gzera, the gzera of the time is because of a cloudy day. Maybe they'll make a mistake between the fifth hour and the seventh hour. The Magid Mishnah, the Magid. And the Amagia, rather, the Mishnah Lamelach, asks a question. It, what the, what the Lecha Mishnah writes, if you benefit in the sixth hour, you get Malchus Mir Abonon. In the seventh hour, when it's the Raisa, if you benefit, you don't get Malchus. Why should the Rachom be Machmin in the sixth hour to get Malchus on benefit more than the Torah in the seventh hour when it's totally forbidden? You don't get Malchus on a no. He explains, according to the Magad Mishnah, the Ano is considered like eating a half a shear. And the Rambam Paskins, that somebody eats Poros Mikishir, Mikazai has been made, gets a, since the, the basis is Torah, the Rahom forbade it, therefore you would get Malchus Madis, which is the rabbinical lashes, therefore 
On Chometz or Pesach, he also gets Malchus Maldus. Even in, in the seventh hour, he would get Malchus. But not Malchus when Aptera, but Malchus when Arabona. The Sefer Be'er Sheva wants to explain that if you benefit or have, eat from one min, you don't get Malchus on both actions. Meaning from benefiting and eating. And since Chometz, the benefit is eating, therefore you don't get punished for benefit. But he asks a question from Sochem 24b, where it says, um, there are those who say, every is in the Torah, and Loikin, you don't get Malkis, only the way that you benefit. What does that mean? To minimize? Amabsimi Barashi, to tell you, if he left Chelev Shel Shoyer, if he left the, the fat of a Shor Anisko on his wound, which is benefiting from fat of something which you're not allowed to benefit from, he's Potter. Certainly if he ate Chelev Chai, which is Potter, so we see that if you nana from something that's also be Echilo, Meaning, if you could eat it and you eat, you benefit, you get malchus even on ano. So the assumption that we had before, that once you have malchus and ano, and eating, you don't consider that ano uh, is would seem to be disproven. Kochim shalchometz and tumas chometz b'shar chameshes. What's the din of kochim that have chometz in them or tumor? The Riza, the Griz, the Briskerov asks a question on the Rambam. The Rambam says in the fifth hour, you you hold the Chumo because of the Mishnah we find, Abuda says, you eat the whole fourth hour and Toyden Kol Chomesh, meaning you leave that which is Kurdish, you don't burn it. Maybe it could be eaten by Kohana before then. And you only burn it at the beginning of the sixth hour. And Rashi explains that you don't burn because the Chomet is Mutaba Noah. That he could eat it, feed it to his animal. And the Rambam, who holds that Kochim and burnt in the fifth hour, is done so that you do not destroy it with your hands. If that's the case, why? Is it forbidden to burn it? You know, he's not burning it. He's not causing the loss because he can't benefit from it. Because it's only given to eat. And the fifth hour, you can't eat it. If you can't eat it, you can't pay it. So then, why? He's not causing a greater loss because there's nothing that can be done with it. So he comes up with a novel opinion. According to the Rambam, Ike is a chomets is in the item itself. That the, it's not what you can do, but it's dealing with the chomets. That, and that, Isra only happens to the chomets in the sixth hour. What the Rachom said you shouldn't eat from the fifth hour is exera because of a cloudy day. But the chomets didn't become also, it's the Isra on the person. And since there's no Isra on the chomets, therefore, it's also to be Ma'abed Kochim because at that moment they're still called Kurdish. They don't have a din of Chomets even with Rabbonan. Therefore, in the fifth hour, you, you keep it until the sixth hour. But the sixth hour that the Chomets is also in Rabbonan uh, as it was made Isser and Hano. So it must be an Isser of the item. Therefore, you can burn it and it's not considered destroying Kochim. The Rambam made this difference between Isra Rabon in the fifth hour to Isra Rabon in the sixth hour because he writes from the sixth hour the Chomet is also by Achilo Ubano. All of the sixth hour mid very soifim. And the rest of the day, the rest of the day according to the Rambam, it's also Menatera. The fifth hour Ein Rechlan Bechomet it's Exer Mishum of the cloudy day. Thus, in the fifth hour, 
It's exer because of a cloudy day, because the fifth hour is on the person. So you make exer because of a cloudy day. Only from the sixth hour there's an is in the form of itself. Therefore, somebody who eats in the sixth hour, meaning from 11 till 12, is, he gets Malkis with Rabbonon, like eating Chomets after Chatzois. <laughs> Just that after Chatzois, according to the Ramah, it's in the sixth hour, it's in Rabbonon. From the fifth hour, he doesn't get Malkis because he's eating something which is not forbidden. The Chsams, which is not forbidden in the and it, it itself is not a forbidden item. The Chsam Soifer explains it otherwise, that in the sixth hour, since B'nai Odom make a mistake, in it, and it's already the seventh hour, therefore it's a Sovik Yisr de Raisa, the other Chomim made it forbidden, and then somebody who eats the Chomets is Oiva and Yisr Torah. Therefore, Rachom required Malchus Mardis. Uh, however, in the fifth hour, here it's only a Xera of the Rabbonon, not a Sovik de Raisa, you don't get Malchus for it. That's according to the Chsam Soifa. Well, Hashem, we finished the first parak, and in the Hashem, we will go on to Parakshani in the next year.